in the league here. We do get underway with the full expectation that Barca will take the game to Ibar and uh, if there are always things to improve on and you would imagine that the coach has made plenty of instructions to achieve team to watch out for seeding the match day three uh, match day three match against uh, Levante when they lost three at home so she missed the match day four it's a little careless from Yana Fernandez and picked up by the visitors but equally careless and giving it straight to Vicky Lopez and you don't want to do that now the Barca players are running the defenders trying to thread it through great defending was it a back oh the referee's given a penalty kick Well, it's a little harsh. I thought my initial reaction was it was good defending, as you could tell from the commentary. Yeah. Six minutes gone. And just strokes it home as casually as you like. Well, the Barcelona scoring machine is off and running again. Alexia Pateas. First of the day, but a seventh of the season. On a Batier. Ingen. Ingen doing nicely there. Oh, lovely flick. Oh, so unfortunate. Beautifully done originally from Alexia. And then when the chance came on the edge of the area. And it started the move and looked for it back. Oh, just the slightest of glances, wasn't there? Towards a teammate. And very close. She's been in great scoring form as uh, Claudia Pina have. The next two matches against the big two, don't forget, in terms of how the title race is shaping up this season. Been having another go here, it's spilled. And the follow-up is turned in, 2-0. Vicky Lopez on hand to take the congratulations. Oh, on players for fun in this first 33 minutes. This time, so much space here. Lopez with the left football, and that's destined for the back of the net. Who got the final touch is open to debate. Might even have been an own goal. There were so many players in there who could have turned it over the line. Awful defending from Ibar, I'm afraid. That much we do know. Just no pressure on Vicky. Who forward to her, but he once a pass looked threatened. That was when Zaro also pushed forward, and it was two against two briefly. Always oh, seemed to be an extra one, two, even three shirts available. Lexi tries to look from distance. We need to have been a little lucky with that shot. Foot has scored some beauties. And the game of attacking defence continues. Virginia with the layoff to the edge of the penalty area. But, uh, well, maybe worth a go, but already scored once, couldn't add a second. First goal was. Tap in the second there she was trying for from distance. Leon. Space for Mappy Leon on the left hand side here. Oh, broken inside the penalty over Bacci. Scores to make it for. Well, unlikely scorer, but already her second of the season. And didn't she take it well? Scored in the 8 1 at Madrid. And Honor Batier, over 50 caps for Spain. 
former Levante and Manchester United player before returning here in 2023 on a three-year deal. Didn't expect to see Patrio here up there chasing. Now she'll have to get back. Someone better cover for her. We've got four in defence. Normally have seven, eight, or nine actually. Alexia with that left foot trying to pick one of her teammates out on the well of what just two meters out or so. Keeper got there to deny a second goal for Vicky Lopez. The referees stopped it for a, if it would have been a foul or not, but for an injury. Nice cross coming away from the keeper. Wasn't too far wide. Decent connection. Always oh, just moving beyond the post. What a dream. It would have been. Saw the space. Need the space herself. Signed a new deal. Early this calendar year till the end of next, uh, till the end of this season. The remainder of last season and this season. Very hard to beat, kept them up comfortably last season when they finished 10th. Previous time they came up. Went down after a couple of seasons. Enjoyed the 2021 and 21, 22 campaigns before falling back to the second tier. Again, they finished third. This time it was Barca's B team that won the title. So again, the team finishing third was promoted and that was Ibar profiting again. Problems again. Nikki Lopez, always excitement when she. And you have to give credit to Ibar, they've worked really hard to try and keep this down. And they've limited the damage to four. It might yet be a sting or two in the tail, of course. Barca are quite capable of scoring even three goals from this stage, as they have done before. Pina been desperate for a goal. Say it, but it's been a below par performance, only scoring four. Maybe there's time yet. 90 seconds have added on time to go. Into the middle, and the header is kept out initially. And still, let's have a look at the header again here from Kika. Don't think she made great contact with it, might have been off her shoulder, even actually. But it was a very good reaction save. Ticks past the 94 minute mark now. It is Claudia Pina stood over this one. Will it be the icing on the cake? She beats the keeper but hits the stanchion at the back of the goal. So it stays at four. The punishment is over. And relatively, that's a good result for a visiting team coming here. Just a quick look again at the effort, not too close from Claudia Pina. But it's Barca, Barca, Barca still at the top. And uh, thankfully, they agree with me. I must know something because Onabatje was the star of the show today. Won a penalty and just played fantastically. We're roaring down the left, but also when it was needed, which wasn't too often, a good uh, defensive cover as usual.